Hello, welcome to the Linux scanning video. Today, I'll be walking you through what Landsuper retrieves for Linux data-wise. And also, we recently done a lot of improvements for the Linux scanning. So we've added additional data and expanded the scope of what Linux scanning can do for Landsuper. So we're also going to take a look exactly at what we retrieve for Linux machines. So let's head into Landsuper and take a look. So here we are in Landsuper on a Linux page. So this is my Linux test machine that I've scanned with uh, the latest improvements to it. Um, so on the summary page, as usual, not much has changed here, but uh, we retrieve already uh, and give you an overview of the basic data that you, uh, that you want to have. So you can see the OS and the version, also the domain that it's in, model manufacturer, as well as some of the hardware details like the memory, the processor, um, and additional details below as well in regards to data and uh, drive information. Um, but let's take a look at specifically what new things that we've added recently. Um, so we've done a complete rework of the Linux scanning itself, which has resulted in a couple of new things. Uh, one of those new things is the processor information. Uh, we already used to have processor information, but it was more limited and specifically targeted at the processor core. So we split those up into two tabs. So now you have the processor, which gives you the general information about um, the processor that you have. And then we have the kind of, you could say old tab where we have kind of information on the processor cores. Additionally, uh, we've added more information for the network. So if we head over here for the network tab, then there's three new fields here that we've added uh, or a couple of new fields that we've added. The QDisk, master, MTU and group information ver at the very end here. Those are new data fields that we're now picking up as well. And then when we head over to disk information, uh, we've added quite a lot of information here. So uh, all of the new tabs here for partitions, volumes, volume groups, uh, physical volumes and logical volumes are all new tabs. So all new information that you can find in these, uh, in these tabs available for you to use. Then uh, we have a very big one, which is user info. A lot, of, uh, a lot of our customers have requested for us to start scanning Linux users, and now we can. So you can take a look at the last logons for your Linux devices, as well as the complete list of users that are on your Linux devices, the groups that, they, uh, that are also on that machine, and also the users that are in specific groups as well. Then we'll head over to the next tab, which is scanned info. And this is related to our file property scanning. Um, so we've used to have uh, file property scanning on Windows, but now we've added it for Linux as well. So you can give up any kind of file directory that you want to scan or any specific file location that you want to scan and Landsuper will be able to pick up the file with its uh, specific details, such as who's the owner, you know, what type of file is it, the size you can see it here, when it was last accessed and when it was last modified as well. So we've added that. And the last thing that we have improved upon is software. Um, now we used to scan software only from one specific area, but now we've vastly expanded that to also be able to pick up flat pack software, snap software, and also unbundled software. So we pick up a lot more software from Linux machines that you get in your complete overview with the usual information, such as the name and obviously the version that the software has. As usual, you can use all of the Linux data that you've seen in reports, in your custom reports, uh, put it in dashboards, etc., to get the entire overview of all of the Linux data or the specific Linux data that you need uh, in one single view. Uh, and with that, thank you for watching this video on the Linux data and take care.